Hey, welcome to this fifth part of the GSAP video series. In this video, I'll show you the basics of some very useful plugins. So let's get started. Text plugin is basically a plugin that changes the text of an element into another one within a period of time. Let's start by adding the CDN link of the plugin to our project. Now I'll use Twinlight as usual but with a new property which is text provided by the text plugin. Text is an object that has value as key which should contain the new text that we want to show instead of the old one. As you can see now, the text gets replaced character by character. If the new text is shorter, the old text still gets removed character by character. If the new text is longer, it will still get exposed also character by character. We can also add a delimiter property which will cut the text towards depending on what we provide as a delimiter. That will expose the text word by word instead of letter by letter. Old class and new class are another two optional properties that can be used to add style to the old and new text respectively by adding predefined CSS classes in our CSS. Bezier plugin is a very useful plugin to animate your HTML elements in a way that they follow a certain path. It's similar to the Photoshop pen tool. You are basically creating points and the join between these points is literally the path that the shape will follow during the animation. First things first, let's add the plugin to the project and of course create the element that we want to animate.
Bezier plugin provides another new property which is Bezier. To create the path, we need to specify the coordinates of the points inside the values array in the Bezier property. Bezier has an optional property which is curviness. This property controls the angles of the path, adding a sharp or smooth look to curves. Setting curviness to zero is basically making the path as an intersection of straight lines, while values significantly superior to zero makes the curves look more smooth and rounded. The more the values are bigger, the more the curves get wider. Lastly, there's auto-rotate which makes the element rotate depending on its position on the path. Scroll to plugin is the green socks way of creating smooth scroll to your scrollable pages or elements. As usual, let's add the plugin and create some elements on the page. So, the scrollable element in my case is the window, and I want to automatically scroll to 1500 pixels using the new property Scroll2.
We can also provide the ID of the div that we want the page to scroll to instead of a numeric value. Additionally to the default scrolling which is vertical, we can also make the page scroll horizontally if we have space on the x-axis. In this case, we need to use the object notation to provide the values for the scroll to property. We can add an offset to where we want the page to scroll to, which is similar to CSS margin. Now, to add the smooth scroll effect to a scrollable element instead of the whole window, we must set the CSS overflow property to scroll, then the rest is the same as previously done. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification for more tutorials like this and see you in the next one.